Marco, your side took the lead early, scored a really nice goal, but in the end, you don't manage to hang on. What are your thoughts on the performance as a whole from your side tonight? I disagree with the hanging on comment. <laughs> we didn't hang on. We were easily the better side out of the two. We certainly dropped two points tonight, that's for sure. We were fantastic in the first half. They had one shot on target, great strike. Our keeper should have done better, but like I said, uh, we had the best of, better of the opportunities by far. Um, Oli Bozanix had to wait a while for his opportunity. He played last week and again tonight. He scored a really nice goal. Are you really pleased to him if, to come in and make an impact for your side? Yeah, of course. It's always nice. You know, we, we, we threw him higher than normal, so that was the only real tactical change from last week. Ollie's very good in that attacking third. He's got a good no a nose for goal. He, he understands his movements and, you know, and um, he got rewarded with the goal. It was a uh, you know, great play by us. Um, and, and Ollie's missed a lot of football, so he needs to keep working, but they were really important match minutes for Ollie. You had a couple of chances to make it 2-0. Do you think if you had have got that second goal, you would have to go away with the game I quite think so. Yeah, yeah, I think so. I mean, both teams this year haven't really um, set the world alight in terms of goal scoring, um, but both teams are also very strong defensively. So it was one of those where I thought whoever got the first goal, uh, that's why it was important for us to start well, you know, I thought would have certainly had the advantage. And, you know, knowing my team... Um, we were very disappointed and they were extremely disappointed in the dressing room for, for giving away two points tonight. Just finally for me, um, Milos and Cassini, were they close to playing this week and are they to play close. next week? Yeah, very close, but again, I didn't, look, didn't want to take any risks. There's a lot of football to be played, a lot of games to be played, and um, they'll certainly be ready for, for next week, that's for sure. Yeah. Yeah, but normally players like to play against their old teams and, uh, you know, he, he had some fantastic times here at this club, you know, and um, yeah, he was good. I, I thought the whole team, considering what, what, I, you know, what I saw last week, which I wasn't happy about, was a huge shift in mentality and attitude and that's what pleased me most. And um, players like Brandon, you know, moments, they've got to... They've got to you know, create those moments to get the rest of the boys going. But they were all, they were all good tonight, particularly that first half. Like I said, we were, we were very good uh, away from home. A real good performance away from home. We took it to the opposition and, and probably and should have had another one. You know, a set piece as well that gets cleared off the line. Um, so, you know, Brennan was good, uh, but they were, they were all very good. But like I said, you know, you switch off uh, and, you know, they, they, they get that opportunity and... Um, yeah, in the end, it, that's, it is what it is. But like I said, I'm, it certainly feels like we dropped two points because I thought we were easily the better side tonight. How do you make where you are on the ladder up to basically a third of the way through the season, I guess? So mm. um, you're in a fairly good position. How do you feel? Yeah, that's all it is. You know, that's all it is. Um, you know, we, we haven't got points. We didn't really deserve too much last week. I didn't think the opposition was better than us. I didn't think we deserved to lose that game last week, considering the two big chances we had. But you've got to convert those into goals, which then convert into points. And you've got to put you know, pressure on the rest of the table by, by getting points, because it's awfully tight, as we know. Um, so it's, it's an OK start. That's all it is. You know, we've worked extremely hard. And we want to do really well this year. But it's, you know, everybody says the same thing. So, and in this competition, the small details make a difference, because it's so tight. Um, and that's those little moments where we need to be better, you know, both with the ball and without the ball. But um, it's OK. It's an OK start and there's a lot of football to be played. And, you know, we, we are, we're looking forward and we're looking to, to bring a new, new player in when the window opens, that's for sure. You know, I want to wanna bring in a, a, another new player in the attacking third. You know, it's, uh, for, for me, I want to put pressure on, on those guys. You saw the young kids come on. You know, our bench was full of young players, 19 and, and younger, and they were good when they came on. You know, they understand their roles and responsibilities. Um, you know, they've got some speed about them as well. I didn't look out of place at all. And uh, for me, it's purely about performance, irrespective of age. At 1-1, I could have easily continued to play the same players, the more experienced ones. But for me, the young ones deserve an opportunity and you've got to earn your right in this, in this club as well to get match minutes. And they certainly did that. And they keep putting their hand up. And that's all I can ask for. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty proactive. Um, you know, I, kind of as soon as Milos got his um, um, uh, citizenship, you know, which if it, if it happened this season, it happened. If it didn't, it didn't. We would have been full, but because it happened, it was great, and that process was started. So, yeah, I've been talking to a fair few players for for a couple of months now. Um, 
So and it never stops. It never stops. That's that's football. You know, you just got to move on and keep moving on. You, you you got no time to think, no time to waste, and you've just got to keep moving on from and being proactive in every department when it comes to football. Marco, two point nine since uh, the World Cup break. Is it uh, is it more unlucky, or has it sort of been a hard getting the guys up to? to um, you know, get the wins after the break? Yeah, no, I wouldn't say it's unlucky. I think it's just one of those games. We knew we were going to have three away games after the after the break and we knew that that was going to be something that we had to really dig deep in. And, you know, knowing that we were in Sydney for a number of, of weeks and that is opening six rounds except except for the Melbourne victory game away. Um, yeah, the, the, the Wellington game was an, an interesting one. I, I thought we could have got the winner in the end. You know, we really put a lot of pressure on them in the last 25 minutes or so when we scored the equaliser. Last week, like I said, I didn't think we deserved to lose, but we didn't deserve to win. Um, and it's, it's tough playing at three o'clock when there's no atmosphere against a club like that. And, um, you know, we're, we're used to playing at the Sydney derby against Melbourne Victory and these boys, everyone, all the players enjoy an atmosphere. And today it was a, a great atmosphere, I thought, you know, a really nice little boutique stadium. Um, maybe the lights can improve because I struggle to see at the best of times. But um, I think it's great for Brisbane. You know, they've got, they've always had really good support and they make noise and and things like that. So, yeah, it's it's yeah, it, two two out of nine points is is not what our standards are. I'll be honest with you, but it's a long season. And when I see performances like tonight, where I believe we should have won, I'm, I'm sure it's going to turn around and there'll be tighter games where we'll win um, and we maybe we didn't deserve to, but. We keep putting on those kind of performances, that mentality, that attitude and that quality. I've got no problems that we'll, we'll start to turn those one-pointers into three-pointers. And finally for me, um, MacArthur next week at, yeah. at home. Yeah. Uh, you went you went with a, so the same squad as you did against Western United. Is there going to be possible changes? Obviously, Cassini, uh, Yangi and um, Milstinkovic back. Is that certainly going to be changes ahead of that that's well, a derby know. game? Yeah, whether we make changes or not, we'll see how the week pans out. We've got... Time now to recover. We've got a bit of bit of a break between this game and the next game, and uh, we've got to assess a lot of things, particularly how the players pulled up from tonight, and um, and then have a look at how those guys can come back in. But they'll certainly be in the mix, that's for sure. Two two players that have helped us get to you know kind of where we're at right now, um, and they'll continue to help us.